Everybody, I'm Dakota from the Techies World and today we're going to do something just a little bit different on the channel and we are going to learn how to replace and install the hard drive on an Apple PowerBook G3. Now the model that we're going to be uh, using here is a power, I should probably turn it this way, is a uh, PowerBook G3. This is what's known as the bronze keyboard model or better known as Lombard. Uh, this is the second generation G3 PowerBook uh, that came out and um, I actually do have a video on this machine uh, on this channel. You can of course go back and look for that. This is the 333 megahertz model and you could possibly use this video to uh, do a hard drive replacement on a Wall Street or a Pismo. Uh, just be aware that the models could vary slightly and there's going to be differences. Uh, screws could be in slightly different places. You may have to remove a couple other things. And I would also like to take at this very moment before we go any further that you probably should have the proper electrostatic discharge regulations being followed when you take apart any uh, computer or any tech item for that matter. You should be using a ESD mat like this and a strap like this. I actually used to have both the map and the strap but um, when I moved about two and a half years ago um, they somehow got lost when I moved so you probably should have these because computers do not like static electricity you gotta be very careful that you don't shock any of the uh, components if you don't have one of these uh, the best thing to do is try to ground out on anything metal like the metal computer frame or anything metal just ground out on it so that way you're uh, less tempted to shock the computer enough of this nonsense let's get to it okay so first things first we're gonna remove the battery on the left side, pull the lever in the front and then slide the battery out. Next, slide the power book around to the rear and open the port door. On the back, you want to look for the keyboard latch lock, which is between the S-Video port and the VGA port. You want to turn the keyboard locking screw until the keyboard is unlocked. Next, open the power book and pull up these two little release tabs on the keyboard. You should be able to lift open the keyboard now. Place the keyboard on the palm rest. Next, take out these three Phillips screws for the CPU shielding. Next, lift up on the shielding and remove it. Next, take out these two Phillips screws that secure the modem onto the motherboard. The one at the bottom is actually quite difficult to get to, so I apologize for the shaky camera handling so I can show you where the other screw is. Next, remove the modem with either a spudger or a flat tip screwdriver. If you're using a screwdriver, be very, very gentle with it. You also want to be very careful when unplugging the modem from the motherboard. And now, let's tackle the CPU. You should be able to lift it up and then out of the machine. Be very gentle with this part. Next, pull up on the keyboard ribbon cable and remove it. This is where you want to also be very gentle as well. And now let's go for the hard drive. Pull up on the hard drive ribbon cable, being very careful with it. You should be able to see a plastic pull tab on the hard drive. You should be able to pull it up and then slide the hard drive out of place. If you are going to be replacing this drive, you'd want to transfer this bracket over to your new drive. This bracket is called a drive carrier. You'd want to take off these four little rubber bumpers and remove the four associated torque screws with it. These screws are T8, that's Torx. If you don't have that, that is a specialized driver that you'll need to go out and get. You'd also want to remove that orange cable. That is the hard drive ribbon cable. You'd want to pry up very gently with it. Again, this is another area you want to be very gentle. So there you go. That is how you remove and replace the hard drive on a G3 PowerBook. Um, I will say it's actually probably one of the easiest repairs uh, you could probably do to a Mac. Uh, it is fairly straightforward. Uh, it's probably, uh, I think it's one of the most simplest repairs you could do on a Mac. It's pretty darn simple, um, you know, compared to some other uh, Macs like the Unibody MacBook Pros here, where, uh, you know, to do a keyboard replacement, the whole machine has to be completely disassembled to nothing. Uh, which is a real pain in the rear end. I am currently thinking about adding repair guides to the channel. Uh, I'm not 100% certain I'm going to do this yet, so this is kind of like a little test video. G3 PowerBook uh, hard drive replacement, it's pretty darn simple. Um, 
At least I think so. That'll do it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the Techies world, hit that little subscribe button down below. Also, uh, check out the website um, as well. Uh, the website has blog posts to all new videos. And make sure you check out all of those social media accounts. The link to the website and all of the social media accounts will be posted in the video description down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. I'm significant, you're missing it. Reaction to a fiction, cause the beat is so explicit in my dreams, and I'll elicit it. Not enough to see it, scratch it, read it, claw it, read it, read it, first the beat, and then the animal that needs it.